Hi, in this triple NI short video, I want to talk about the LT3750 capacitor charger. Now, what is a short video? It's basically a video that I don't need to sit for so long and keep editing and all that stuff. I'm doing this video only because I got a giant scare trying to show off a baby lizard from my room. It just jumped on me. So to recover from that shock, I do what I love best, electronics. Mm, to be more specific, analyzing electronic circuits. So I've labeled each and every component in this circuit diagram that I found, a block diagram that I found off the data sheet, linear technologies data sheet. So what this IC does is it charges large capacitors very quickly and efficiently. The input current is only 2.2 amps and it can charge a 300 volt 4000 microfarad capacitor in 0 0.8 seconds. Hmm, I bet even a ZVS can't do that, my god. So for all the people out there who are curious to know how this works and maybe reverse engineer it, I would like to explain all of the components. I won't be going in depth about each component but I've marked them out. Transistors in green, op amps in orange, OR gates in red and flip flops in blue. So this video is not for beginners and definitely won't impress my fans but just for the sake of mm, making other people understand what this circuit does. So as you can see there are three op amps in the initial stage. The first one acts as a VCC under voltage cutoff. So if VCC goes below 2.8 volts it cuts off charging. Same thing if the transformer voltage goes the low side of the transformer. I mean the separate positive voltage and transformer input voltage. So if that goes below 2.5 volts it cuts off. And this is a temperature cutoff if it goes beyond 160 degrees celsius it cuts off charging all the outputs of this op amp are connected to this OR gate that sends a signal to this flip flop that enables charging also depending on the state of this op amp which measures the output voltage it's connected to a current mirror it gives an output on this pin done so you could just add an LED to show that charging is done so that's basically the control part of the circuit. I know this input, the charge input, if you put a small signal here, the one shot turns it into a regular pulse and turns on charging through this flip flop. Now onto the power modulating, I don't know, frequency generating side of this circuit. Two op amps. This measures this RDCM. I'm not sure what that means. A DCM comparator. Duty cycle mode? No, maybe not. I could be wrong. So this one shot controls this OR gate which is also connected to charge voltage. So this OR that controls this flip flop which uses this tri-state buffer to drive the gate of this MOSFET to 5 volts and minus 2 volts I think according to the data sheet. And this also limits current at the input of the transformer V trans. This is the primary side. So it senses current there. If it goes beyond a certain value lessens the duty cycle. At least that's what I expect that's what I'll be doing in my 40 watt charger controlling the duty cycle depending on output current which should be around 200 milliamps in my case and this is 2.2 amps like I mentioned earlier On, the only peripheral components you need are are done or maybe just an LED this RBG I'm not sure what that means and R V out and R D C M and a good power MOSFET so that's basically the working of the whole circuit. It's basically just too many complications. You could do this in a much simpler and efficient manner. I will talk about that in my capacitor charging power supply video. So that's basically it for this shock. And by the way, I've completely recovered from my shock. The lizard one that is. I set the AC in my room to 18 degrees to freeze the lizard out of this room. So two jobs done. Analyzing the circuit and the lizard is out. Do check out my friend TechSmart's channel. He does have some good videos. I just wanted to do a bit of advertising for him. He has only 5 subscribers and I have 10 so far. So keep uh, I will keep updating you on my Railgun version 1.1 project. I haven't yet started. I've ordered parts. So this was basically a video on the LT3750 capacitor charger. Hope I wasn't talking too fast. That's because of Sherlock. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.